you guys. All right, we're going to go over tonight. Uh, we're talking canoe trips. We're talking uh, beverages. Most importantly, hydration, but uh, beverages overall. And when I go on canoe trips, I have three beverages that I drink. Water, coffee, and whiskey. Cheers. When it comes to water bottles, you got some different options out there. And it seems like a pretty straightforward, like, uh, you know, no-brainer, whatever. You know, I'll, I'll pick what I, pick up what I have around me. And you know what? If you have something around you that holds water and it keeps you drinking, just bring that, okay? And you can cut the video out right here unless you want my whiskey and my coffee suggestions a little bit later. But on water, I'm just going to say a couple things. Nalgene, you just can't go wrong. I think they're like 10 bucks a piece, right? And um, a couple things that Nalgene does for you that other water bottles don't. Uh, most bottles have a way to, to hook up a beaner. And on canoe trips, canoe bags, they're not like backpacks, like backpacking backpacks where you got all the, the pockets. Uh, canoe bags, they've got straps, but it's usually a big compartment, so it's nice to be able to strap this onto something. Strap it to your canoe, don't lose it to your waist. Um, you know, obviously, Nalgene, you can measure, you can see through it. And the last thing about Nalgene is I like to bring duct tape up. And duct tape, you know, can be a band-aid. It can it can fix your tent, your canoe. It can do a lot of stuff for you. Put the put the duct tape, wrap it a few times around. You don't need a whole roll or anything, but put it on the top part. Because if you're gonna actually use this as a measuring spoon or a measuring cup, uh, seventy-five percent of the time you're gonna just be using this bottom half. You know, measure measure a cup here, two cups there, or something like that. So so put your tape up top because you're gonna want to see down here. Metal water bottle does the same thing really um obviously i've used this quite a bit uh, you know if you have a canoe mate you know two three nail jeans and if you have something like this this the nice thing about this is if you get in a situation where you do need to boil some water um to sanitize it you can achieve that with this and now with the nail jean. okay this this goes along with the theme of whatever gets water into you the easiest you know and breaks down that barrier like if it if having to unscrew this and drink is going to keep you from just pounding water all day, do something different. This does that, right? And if you want to wear a backpack all day, you know, I'm backpacking, I'm drinking water all day, all day long. And canoeing, you can do something similar. So if you've got one of these and you're thinking, do I bring that or not? That's more of a backpacking. If it keeps you drinking water, bring it. Next, not water. You know what this is for. Um, this is for the whiskey. And look, you know, you're going to be out there, you're going to be busy all day. Um, yeah, don't overdo it. But at the same time, like, don't go out there with this ambition that you're going to, you know, if you drink, if you have a drink each day, that you're going to have a drink, you know, every other day. Like, don't change your habits out there, okay? And be a little bit conservative because stuff spills. So bring something that's not going to poke holes. And I like this one because it's not going to sink to the bottom of the lake. Uh, okay. The last thing that I'm going to talk about is this right here this is my coffee mug um if you could see this is a little bit bigger actually i've got to see the comparison that's a smaller one up there i like this big one a i like big i like a lot of coffee okay it's a great way to start like you've never had a cup of coffee until you're sitting on a lake that's steaming up uh you know in the morning up in the boundary water so a good cup of coffee but what this also does is you have your cup of coffee you rinse it out then you have your oatmeal Okay, or your your um, your eggs or your mash or your potatoes or your whatever. You know, you have your breakfast and you rinse that out. Maybe you have a second cup. But this functions as your coffee cup and it's big enough to give you a serving of, of your actual meal as well. So that, that works well for that. Okay, and if you have a big crew, okay, if you're like the crew leader or something like that, I don't have it yet on this, but uh, take a take a permanent marker and write numbers on, you know, let's see, you've got like six or eight of these, right? Write numbers on these, some some folks are a little bit particular about people sharing their cups and stuff like that. Uh, so write a, write a permanent marker, one, two, three, four, and, and number them so people know whose are theirs. Um, oh, yeah, last thing. Okay, get a dromedary bag. They've also got collapsible water bags, but you wanna get something that holds a lot of water, right? You go filter your water out there, be it a gravity bag, be it, iodine but you want some <clears throat> or you filter your water you unscrew this you fill this up with water and then you take your you know your carabiner or something you hook it up on a tree in camp and then you've got running water right there in camp and that's that's a pretty good feeling to have running water right there in camp 
Okay, we hit the five-minute mark. Um, cheers, guys. All right, talk to you later.